The mama's doing my nothing! Why does this have to go? Today is a pretty sad day. Today will be, it will be the last drive with me, technically, in the Scirocco before it goes. <laughs> It's actually emotional. No, I'm gonna cry. I'm actually gonna cry. This is tech. It's not technically the last drive of me because we still are gonna do a Scotland road trip. I'll talk more about that in a second. But say farewell to the car. We're taking it to Scotland. Blah blah blah. So technically not the last drive of me, but this is the last official drive of me in this Scirocco. So anyway, let's start this car. Let's go on a drive with me. The last one. <laughs> if you guys are Patrick the bloody star and you live under a rock, this Scirocco. Is up for sale. Technically. The car is with me for the next two weeks because I've got to film the last Scotland road trip. We're going to Scotland in this car. Uh, and I've got to service it ready for the new owner. That includes a DSG service, oil service, tracking, spark plugs. But yeah, it's up for, up for sale on Instagram. So if you guys are interested, check me out on Instagram and it's there. I'm gonna miss that! Bro, you know how much confidence this car gives you as a guy? Yeah, I might not be the best looking, but when I pull up to the gym, I pull up in fucking style, man. Popping and banging. Bright purple car. Bronze wheels. Yeah, you might have a six pack, but <laughs> does your car do that? Bruh. But yeah, I'm excited for the next person to buy this car because it's an experience. Honestly, it's a fucking experience having this car. Oh, daddy, I'm going to miss that. Oh, my God, I don't. I, bro, this, this last... I have not been driving the Scirocco around. I, I feel like it's kind of disrespectful on the new owner to drive their new car around. Put miles on it. Oh, it's so naughty. Getting me turned on, you know. My neighbours are going to be so gassed when I get rid of this. No more cold starts in the morning. They're gonna fucking love it. Right then guys, so just before I get into today's video, I would like to say a massive thank you to the sponsors of today's video, Car Vertical. If you guys don't know who Car Vertical is, Car Vertical is an amazing and crazy intelligent used car history checker. So if you are in the used car market, right, and you find a used car that you like, before purchasing the car, make sure to run it through Car Vertical and Car Vertical will produce you a report full of information that you need to know about this car. So here is actually a report for a BMW 2 Series, a potential next car for the channel, guys. This is actually the report Car Vertical generates. As we can see right off the bat, it's not looking good, bruv. It already says that the mileage of this vehicle may have been tampered with. Sellers might roll back miles to make it appear to have less miles than it actually does so that they can sell it to you for more. If we actually scroll down and take a look at their mileage graph, we can see that it's dipped over a thousand miles. Well, not a thousand miles, actually. I'm not very good at maths, but it's actually dipped down. So this is a possible mileage rollback. Luckily, though, we can see that this vehicle is not wanted as stolen. We can also see that this vehicle is not recorded as having outstanding finance. However, we can see that there's an amber warning light to tell us that this vehicle was damaged. If we actually scroll down past all of this information, I mean, honestly, the information goes on for days, mate. We can see that this vehicle was written off in 2018 and the car vertical is so intelligent, it gathers pictures of the damage collected from different sources such as car auction sites. And as we can see, this car is mashed. Oh my goodness. Is there any car left of that, mate? So you might be stood in front of a perfect two series, but it might have once looked like this. So this probably wouldn't be the car to get for your money. So that is just one of the examples of a bad report of a car. You don't want to buy a car and then run it through car vertical to find out that it was crash damaged and once looked like that. So I'd highly, highly recommend you use car vertical to make sure all the cars you're purchasing are perfect before you spend your hard earned money. So if you guys are interested, use my discount code TOSS for money off your purchase or click the link in the description for an automatic 10% off. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So anyway, let's actually get back to... Oh, he's driving me. So pretty much right now, simply, I'm actually going to the gym, uh, do some gains, you know what I mean? Um, and then go get some food, mate. Simple as that. 
what's crazy about this car right is you know some people will like this some people hate it my car's plastered over facebook right now plastered the scirocco group chat is currently either loving the car and or slating it um and there's a park like a twat group chat um as well there's like love and hate right but you know like to have a car that is that controversial it's causing disruption on facebook i love it i fucking love it everybody's entitled to their own opinion but that's gas that my car is plastered over facebook right now it's actually sick it's pissing off a lot of 50 year olds honestly <laughs> listen to this car man this car's just and it's been so reliable so fucking reliable it's unbelievable never once have i had an issue See, when you join the motorway with this car. So literally, like, you come down, second gear, third gear, and then look, all these people passing by. Watch out. And you just pass everyone, popping and banging. If, if you want, you just pop and bang. <laughs> Whoever gets this is going to get pussy Or dick Or dick Depends what sexuality you are And what gender you are of course Oh my god No literally Like it doesn't matter what car's next to you right A Porsche, Ferrari right Lambo A Ford Right it does not matter what car is next to you? They're looking! And it sounds cocky, but like, who's not looking at a car that's fucking popping and banging? Got an exhaust like that. Bright purple! <laughs> this whole video is just gonna look like me getting gassed up at the Shroco. Now the thing is, right, if I had all the money in the fucking world, I'd keep this car. But like, for the safe, for the improvement of the channel, right, you have to grow you have to step up the cars i can't have this shiroka my whole life like and the next car is a house deposit guys it's disgusting the price of the next car so i need this money from this car to go towards the next car simple as that oh look it's rs6 next to it RS6, you see, he's giving me a little rev. If people don't know, I've been going gym now for like four, five months consistently, right? Um, and honestly, one of the biggest challenges I've found in that time is gaining weight and gaining muscle, to be fair, right? Eating enough food. Eating enough food is ridiculously hard. So literally every time I go gym, I just have a KFC straight after, and that's a thousand calories in a meal. Um, but like I'm slowly bit putting on weight and like muscle, but really slow. Like I want to make it enjoyable for myself. I don't just want to cram shit tons of food down me. So I'd rather see slow progress and enjoy it than have to eat constantly throughout the day. My energy. This is actually the town I got pulled over in. Um, I, I honestly, for some reason, I just felt invincible before. Like, I felt like nobody was ever gonna pull me over. Cause like, I've driven past that, like hundreds of police cars. They've been behind me. They've literally followed me for ages, right? Um, and like, nothing's ever come of it. So I just thought I was invincible. And then I got pulled over. It just shows you, you're not invincible. You're not the main character, fam. <laughs> yeah, literally, I used to never even care. Never even used to look at my mirrors for police. Now I'm always like sketching, like, it's not about if they can see you, it's about if they can fucking hear you, for fuck's sake. But it's quite quiet right now, look. Once we, we put the rear seats back in, I don't know if you guys know that, but I put the rear seats back in, um, I just prefer it, to be honest, like. It's a lot quieter now because obviously there's a bit of sound deadening before the exhaust, so much prefer, much prefer the seats back in. It looks quite nice, it looks like a nicer car with the seats back in. And you could actually fit four people in the car now, which is amazing, because you could only fit two in before. <coughs> Uh, uh, uh. 
in all honesty, right, I'm actually scared to drive this car right now. Because I just know for a fact, right, a week before it goes, or two weeks before it goes, I'm going to get hit. It's just, it's just facts. Like, I'm just waiting for some dickhead to T-bone me. The thing is, right, so, what some people don't know is we're actually selling the Citroen C1 as well. We're selling it. We're doing the clutch on it and we're selling it. So the only car left is the Corsa. That's the only car we'll have from the very start, the very beginning car. That's the only car we'll have because everything's going. Let's go right in between these two shit boxes. Sorry, sorry guys. Right, I'm gonna quickly go gym and then we're gonna go get some food. Continue chatting some more shit. A few moments later. Right. Whew. All done at the gym, right? I'm still looking like a twig, unfortunately. Slow progress is better than no progress, right? In a year's time, I might be thanking myself, you know? Honestly, you should see the videos of me when I first started the gym, right? I look, this isn't anything bad against these people. <laughs> I might really roast myself here. I'm gonna cancel myself. I looked basically skin and bone. Skin and fucking bone. Like, you might think I look skinny now, but trust me, right? Back then, oh my days, that was next level. I was so unbelievably skinny. I feel like you could, you know like, you know like the guy, the wolf, who, or the, the pig that built his house out of fucking twigs, blew his house down, you know, the wolf. Bro, that would be me. You'd blow me over with 2% blow. Ridiculous. It's actually boiling today, it's actually nice. You know like, those vibes are coming, but unfortunately, I ain't gonna have this car like, you know? It's an end of an era, mate, honestly. Like, people are making me sad as fuck getting rid of this car. They were like, it's an, an, it's an end of an era. It's, a, it's your car, like, bro, like, imagine seeing someone else whipping my car. Like, I just can't. Woo! Blood, that pigeon almost fucking cracked my windscreen. He was like, whoop, After this video, right, I'm actually doing an oil service on it myself. Fresh oil for the, <coughs> blood, it. I just caught the Corongorinus. <laughs> Corongorinus. I will be servicing the car and then putting it in hibernation, like cleaning it and then putting it in hibernation until um, the Scotland road trip. Yeah, hopefully I won't ever have to drive it. I'll drive it if I have to, because the MX-5 is uh, being worked on, maybe. But yeah, until then. I can honestly imagine. I'm really excited to film the last video on the Schrocker because I feel like that's gonna have so much emotion in. Like, I'm not a filmmaker by any means, right? But I can almost, I understand like all that shit behind it. That video is going to be, this is where I did the, this is where I ragged it down here, right? Sorry for that short delay. Right, this road right here, this is where I sent it a little bit, just a little send. I thought it was bigger than it actually was, but I did a little send and the police person, the police officers literally at that traffic light, so they saw the whole thing. <laughs> Listen, I made respect for the police. I really, really do. They have to deal with dickheads like me on a daily basis. So I'm so excited for that video. It's gonna be so emotional. The whole video in itself is gonna be so emotional. It's gonna be sick. Think of the Scirocco purple car with bright orange sunsets, right? For the last video, mountains. It's probably gonna be really rainy to be fair. God's just gonna be like, you dickhead. You caused so much disruption to this earth, right? Polluted it like no tomorrow. And do you wanna to come to Scotland and film some videos? <laughs> No, but like literally, it's gonna be an absolutely beautiful video. Like the longer, the longer it doesn't sell, the longer I get to keep it. So I'm happy. Oh yeah. You know when you just gotta get some noise out of you. Oh yeah. You know when you just gotta get some noise out of you, right? And um, you just gotta scream out the window or something. Come on, man! I gotta go get my flipping chicken nuggets. My chick, my flipping Philly burger. I'm in the wild, wild west with it. Let me know, right, what you guys honestly want to see for the next car. Literally, like a £20,000 budget for my next car. True, Truthfully, 20 k You could get literally anything for that car, that price, right? Anything within reason, right? Okay, and not anything then. <laughs> you get anything within reason, right? 
you get C60 free for 20k. Even if you wanted to step your budget up, put 20 grand down as a deposit, right? You could get even more. 2k. It. That's more like it. Come on now. Oh, mate, mate, mate. Yo, I'm taking a piece now. Oh, who's that? Don't know who the fuck that was, but you're on video now. Big yourself up. The motorway again. Look how strong the fucking car is. The engine is so unbelievably strong. Oh! The sound system in this car is sick, especially the Alpine subwoofer. I don't want to seem ungrateful, God, but I don't want to be here. I'm really happy we put the rear seats back in because it used to be a lot louder than this. Those rear seats really dim down all the music, uh, all the, the wow, noise in the back. Wow, is very nice. Right, we're pulling to services, get my. This is my services, right? I always come here for KFC. Always. Every single day I come here for KFC. Boy, oh my days, look at that cheeky bum. Cheeky, cheeky bum. Love it. <laughs> why am I so gay? Not that gay, being gay is a bad thing, but why am I being gay, man? Hurry up, lads. Come on, we ain't got all day. Come on, chop, chop, we ain't got all day. Come on, come on, man, you got a 4x4. Four four. Just go over the fucking car. Oh, and look, reverse camera. What, can we, what more can you say? Hopefully I don't end up on the fucking park like a twat thing again. Right, I think my camera's gonna die any second right now. Any second. But I got the KFC. But we're gonna hop on the motorway. And I'll probably eat inside so that I don't get this car all dirty. Because it needs a full detail. Um, but one more little motorway pull. We're good to go. Cheers, boss. Do a nice little pull, yeah? Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Oh, mate, the weather. The weather's doing my nothing. Why does this have to go? What a journey this car's been on. Bro, it's changed me as a person. It, just the fact that, like, when you pull up next to a Porsche or something, right? Even if they've got 700 brake and you've got 300, right? Bro, you're down to have some fun in this car, man. To me right now, this is just the most beautiful car I could ever have. One day, maybe, just maybe, I might be able to buy this car back. One day. Right then, guys, so that is it. I've actually got home. I scoffed my KFC. I, even, I completely forgot that I needed to film the video, but... So, yeah, pretty much, unfortunately, that is the last video on the Rocco. Well, the last video on... The last drive me at the Rocco. But make sure to stay tuned for the Scotland road trip because it's either this week... No, next week or the week after we are going to Scotland. We're taking the Rocco and it's going to be a lit, lit video. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Um... Seriously, thank you from the bottom of my heart for supporting the Scirocco series. The last video will be out soon. But until then, me and Rosie are going to go play. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see the faces in my next video.